you doing everybody? It's Phil from New York Rocks and we're rocking down here at the Funkadelic Studios right in Times Square and we're here with no other than Dean Dobbins. How you doing Dean? Hey Phil, how you doing? It's a pleasure cool. being here. Well, nice to have you down Thank here. Thank you so much. Okay, alright, so now uh, you started out in Queens. You're from Queens. Talk a little bit about your growing up in Queens and your uh, bullies, right? So you yes. have a book out called Dean Dobbins, Stop Bullying Today. Yes. yes. All right. So, so let's talk about that. How sure. you got started? Sure. So I was uh, born and bred in Queens. Mm -hmm. um, you know, right now I'm still 25. Actually, I'm 51. <laughs> you know, uh, and I was bullied as a child at nine years old, mm -hmm. uh, playing in the park with my friends, playing football. Mm -hmm. And this this boy uh, yeah. came up to me, which yeah. we knew, mm -hmm. and he was a little bigger than me. He took my took my football, mm -hmm. and I asked him, "Give my football back." Well, elementary school. Right. And I was a short little kid. You know, mm -hmm. I'm I'm just a little taller right. now. Mm -hmm. My friends kind of walked away from it. So right. I knew something was going to happen right there and then. And he took the ball, he knocked me down uh -huh. to the ground, he kicked me in my ear. Yeah. And I ran home crying yeah. to my parents. Mm -hmm. And my, my father, and actually my dad died when I was young, but my stepfather was my father's Sorry. figure. He turned around and said, I got to put him in the martial arts. Right. So I started at nine years old in the martial arts. I tried it for a few years and I really got into it when I was 15 years old. Mm -hmm. But the martial arts has helped me a lot right. with bullying. Um, it's helped me a lot for my own courage. Mm -hmm. uh, and I always say to people, you need to be, with a bully, you need to really have high self-esteem for yourself. Because right, right. a bully is going to grab it for you. You know, I use the analogy of the little lamb and the wolves. So what does a wolf do? Right. One wolf goes at you, but many come behind. Right, right. See, that wolf's a coward, mm -hmm. right? Like a bully, a bully is a coward. They have to have their friends, their right, crews, right, right, their right. gangs, their, their guys around, right? So we have bullies. Unless he's a really big bully. Right, right. Big, we have a lot of big bullies out there, right. there Phil, you know? Right. But, you know, bullying's just not for kids. There's mm -hmm. bullies that uh, attack kids, right. teens, adults. There's tons of mm -hmm. adult bullies out there. There's all different types right. of bullies now these days. Years ago, there were just uh, bullies that bullied you in school, right. and now today, they're bullying on the internet. Actually, when I was a kid, when I was going to uh, elementary school, I had a bully there, and he uh, stole my Mickey Mouse eraser, uh -huh. and it had the Mickey Mouse head with the ears. Oh, I was like, ah, I love this, I love this pencil, and one of the bullies, he stole the Mickey Mouse uh, you know, eraser, probably. and I was like, you know, crying, or whatever, yeah, and everything. Yeah, it's and not I was a good a little feeling, kid, you yeah. know, but... Still, I was like, you know, bullied, you know? Yeah. And then uh, I end up making friends with the bully later on in life. That's another story. Yeah, but actually, in my case, too, the bully became one of my best friends at oh, the end. Really? But yeah, you, you gotta understand something about bullies. Okay. They might come from broken homes. Right, or they're right. all very rich homes. You right, don't right. know where, where they come from, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes. Uh, maybe they were bullied by somebody. Mm -hmm. And it's a shame, you know? I always tell people out there, you know, you have to watch your awareness, what's right. around you. Mm -hmm. Especially in school. If you're sure. a new student in school, yeah. you know what? Sometimes you're the new guy. Maybe you're a boy or girl, you're in school. You're like the new maybe, kid in town. The new kid yeah. in town. And yeah. there might be one kid. You know what he does? Mm -hmm. He becomes your friend. Right. You're going to be my best friend. Right, right. And guess what? Then. Mm -hmm. The girls start to like you, the boys, and he gets mm -hmm. jealous, mm -hmm. and now he becomes a bully. Mm -hmm. See, they could snap right. at any time. We have a lot of statistics out there. For I teens. think like bullies need attention. That's oh, why yeah. they do that. Totally. They do that for attention. Totally. They want to be noticed. The, the right. real shame part of things right. is a plague out there, and 1,600 to 4,700 right. teens a, a year wow. commit suicide due to bullying because yeah. they're afraid to go to their parents, and, and anybody who's being bullied mm -hmm. has to go to their parents. Mm -hmm. They have to say what's going right, on. Right. Even with my children, mm -hmm. my children speak to my sure. wife and I on a daily basis if something's bothering them. Right. You know, if we see their grades slipping mm -hmm. or they're maybe depressed, we ask them, what's right. the matter? Because yeah. things happen. And my two boys had been bullied. Yeah. And I started the Stop Bullying Today campaign, mm -hmm. I call it, right. seven years ago, mm -hmm. eight years ago, my son was right. bullied in first grade. Wow. And then my other son was bullied too. So I'm yeah. trying to stop mm -hmm. this. Um, it happens. Yeah, I'm really trying know, to stop it. It happens a lot more these days too. As, like I said, with the internet even more because now so many kids are, are doing so much interacting with each other now uh, with the social media so it's like they're always in contact with each other so there's more contact actually and you know social media is good and bad right you know this Facebook thing that everybody mm -hmm. wants to be on it's right. good and bad you know I always tell uh, teens watch who you become friends with right even me sure I have maybe 500 friends on Facebook. Do I know right. every one of them? It's somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody, but mm -hmm. I'm very selective who I'm going to let Correct. speak to me or interact with me. Because anybody could be anybody on the internet. You sure. don't know who's behind, you know, uh, that profile. Right. It could be somebody else. 
you, you could be anybody you want to be pretty much on the internet yes. you know so that's why a lot of bullying happens because those bullies, I guess, you know, they, they could bully because they're sitting behind a computer. Sure, sure. You know, and they it, could be, yeah. You're right. And, you know, somebody asked me a while ago in right. an interview, what makes you an expert? Mm -hmm. I said to them, I'm not an expert mm -hmm. in this. I'm a consultant. Right. I consider myself a consultant because I had first-hand bullied. I was first-hand bullied. Right. So when you have that experience, right, right, and that tormentor keeps coming after you, you right. really need to take a stand. And I believe in helping. Right. And could I help the world? You know, there's right. one of me, but we have to have many of me out there doing this. And you know what blows my mind? You have a Strap lot of unity. unity they yes, say. Unity, unity is the yeah, biggest thing. Unity. You have a lot of young kids doing this. I, every day I go online, there's another bully song out there. Right. And there are these little kids that act. If it's like myself as an adult, and mm -hmm. that's great to see that because more children need to get involved because yeah. they were bullied. Mm -hmm. you know? And we want to really stop it because we have to make our society... They can't be afraid to talk about it. That's no. the problem. Right. And that's afraid. Afraid. That's Don't be afraid. afraid. Tell somebody, like you said. Now, you had mentioned before that you would talk to your parents, let's say if you're a child. Right. Or something like... But let's say... Um, who else could you tell? At school, they should go to their teacher. Right, right. And the teacher should do something about after it. After class. After class. Probably, even you know, during class. class. All right. If somebody yeah. bullies you during class, you go to your teacher, pull it to the side, Mrs. Okay. So-and-so, yeah. you know, I don't like the way mm -hmm. he called me a name, whatever, whatever it is. But yes. the teacher needs to go to the principal. Right, right. And the principal needs to take care of it okay. through the parents to the children and stop it. Mm -hmm. And if they don't, they're not doing their job. Well, See, educators need to keep our children safe. Okay. Yeah, sure. And a lot Absolutely. of them don't because you know what? Right. There's a lot of teachers out there that are bullies. Yeah. You see, okay. they bully our children, right, right. and our children are too scared to tell their sure. parents. Mm -hmm. So we need to, again, as right. parents, really take it, take a, a, a part of this, and say, you know what? This is not going to happen to my child. Wow. That's powerful stuff. Yeah. That's really good information out there. Let's see if it even gets worse than that and uh, involves the, like a, a physical thing. Shouldn't they go to the police, let's say? Absolutely. A child, let's say yes. if they're in school and they're getting beat up or whatever, and they feel like, oh, they're scared or, or they told the teacher or whatever, but there's other stuff going on outside the school, in front of the school, or, or when they leave the school, could they go to the police and report this? Uh, yes. Actually, I had one case that right. I, I watched very closely, a young lady, and uh, mm -hmm. she's now 16. So at the time, she was 13 years mm -hmm. old. She right. was bullied to the point right. she was contemplating uh, committing suicide. Wow. And the mother gave me the transcripts from the cell phones, wow. you know, the, all the cell phone texts, mm -hmm. and I listened to some voicemails, and I advised them, you need to go to the authorities, at right. least put it on record. You know, what mine is, it's a little high with the police department, but you got to put it on record. Right. And they did finally expel this student for a while, mm -hmm. okay? It was, it was a boy bullying a girl. Okay. And this girl right now, she's solid though. You know why? Because she she put her head up and, and got away from this stuff. And you have to sometimes walk away too. How about how about let's say uh, when they're afraid to say, I don't want to be a rat, because that's what happens to them. Like I don't want to be a rat. But being a rat is not reporting somebody that's hurting you right. or something or doing something about it. You know, is is not doing something about it. You will become the victim. So, how, what's your thoughts on that? Like you, you know. know I, I, I laugh sometimes, sure. but you know, it's not bad to be a rat. You have to go and you have to say, I need your help. Right. If you're the victim, right, right by ratting a friend out or, or a bully yeah. out, say yeah. a friend becomes yeah. the bully, right. that's okay. I say it's okay. Maybe people will disagree with me, but you right. know what? I have no issue because the bully that messed yeah. with me, mm -hmm. right, right, I went to my parents who went to the teacher, who went to the principal. So, yeah, did I rat him out 100%? Right. But at the end, he became a better person because he became a friend of mine because right. he stopped bullying me finally. But how about let's say if uh, you didn't do anything, you didn't tell anybody, right, say, and you did something back and you hurt that person. Right. Now, you're the bully. Of course. Right? And, and yeah. you know what? And you know what? It's funny because right. bullies sometimes say they're the victims. Right. You know? So and so, okay, he bullied me, but now he's coming back at me. Now right, he's a bully. Right, right. So in, in the old days, right, now I'm 51 years old, so in our old days, what are really bullies, we called it a fight. But if it was consistent, right. it was harassment. Right, right. right? So the, the word bully, we have to, sure. you know, take it in context. Right. Uh, but the word bully is strong, mm -hmm. you know. I, I, I really feel for some kids, you know, you're ugly, you're fat, uh, the color of your skin, blah, blah, blah. You're stupid. These words and words right. and words and so much words. Mm -hmm. And they, the bully doesn't realize. Right. See, the bully doesn't realize what he's saying sometimes. Mm -hmm. He just want to go and go and go at you. And right. sometimes it's a stop. And you know, I always say, you know, say to my karate students, mm -hmm. when somebody's bullying you, you tell them straight to the eye, right. stop 
bullying me, leave me alone. Just, I don't want to be bothered with you. Do you understand? And usually bullies don't hit you unless they have their friends around. They're going to take a crack at they're you. They just like stare at and they'll you know? be like, wow. But it's, it's, you, stand, you actually stood up for yourself without being too forceful with like your hands to right. fight back. But you told them, you know, where, where you feel, how you feel. In my junior high school years, I mean, I was bullied. I went to a tough junior high school. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes if you, you, you the, the worst approach is to stand there and not do anything because the next thing you, they're going to do to bully is hate you, right? It's something, yeah, of course. Like pretty much. If you, don't, if you just stand there and don't say nothing. Because I, I see a lot of that on the internet where um, a bully approach somebody and then they'll just stand there and then I'll say something to them and they don't say anything back and they just stand there. And then the next thing that by just standing there and not running, they end up getting beat up and hurt. Sure. Bad, so. I'll tell you a quick adult story that happened to me not too long ago, okay. maybe nine months ago. Right. I was, uh, I come into the city a lot, you know, New York's great. I right. love it. New York rocks. I love right. it. You know? I love it. And uh, rock and roller, That's but it. I was taking the E train going home. All I only had to do was go one stop because my, mm -hmm. my car was in the garage right. in Long Island City. Mm -hmm. And two guys were looking at me, right. and I minded my own business. Right. A guy called me Four Eyes, yeah, and yeah. then he said some vulgar words to me. I rather not. And he's an adult. And he's adults. Yeah, adults. Well, to me, they look like, like a little younger than me, yeah. right? And I thought they were like high school students, right? Yeah. But they weren't. Mm -hmm. And they said some vulgar words to me. Right. The, guy the guy threw a shot at me right. for no reason. Wow. And I defended myself. Sure. I got him down. I got his friend down. Right. And I guess cell phones work in subways because yeah. the authorities were on the other side when we got yeah. there. And they pulled me out. They pulled yeah. them out yeah. to find out they were 24-year-old guys. Yeah. Right? So not even college anymore. Yeah. But it they were the ganging day. up. They figured this is how they're going to just they, yeah. they know the role. Yeah. They play that role. Make you the victim. And they, they try to make me a victim. And they try right. to make me a mark. Right. I have to tell you, the first time in a long time I hit somebody, but yeah. I gave him a good shot, yeah, sure. and he'll remember it because right. I, I caught him pretty hard. Yeah. And I'm a martial artist, sure. so, but I had to defend myself. Yeah, you know, I tell to. my students, don't hit unless yeah. you really need right. to defend yourself. This was a situation, mm -hmm. closing it, I had to do it. it. Was it a form of bullying? I think it was a form of harassment, right? right. right? I mean, they weren't bullying me, they were harassing me. Yeah. They took me well, to hurt you. You know? If you know, you have to defend yourself. You can't just go, you know, let them lay into you and they'll just pummel you to the ground. You know, today it's a little different world, you know. It's not like uh, you get into a little fight and then it's all over right. and they're going to say, oh, well, it's all over now. I mean, they, you can really get hurt and killed, you know, out there. So you have to learn to you know, like to defend yourself a sure, little bit, sure. you know. Yeah, absolutely. At least block, block it. You know what I do? I speak right. at a lot of schools. Sure. And last year I spoke at a lot of schools and I do the Catholic school system, the public mm -hmm. school system. And I first question I ask right. for a raise of hands, who's been bullied? Right. Right? And you get half the kids that raise sure. hands. Who is a bully? And you know what? Sometimes they're afraid to come forward. Right. But at the end, they do come forward and speak to me on a one on one. Right. And you know, I feel bad what I'm doing. You know? And right. I love speaking at schools because I love getting in front of the, the yeah. youth and the teens. But you know, I love speaking to adults too because mm -hmm. adults are bullies too. Right. You know, especially we in the workplace. Like we need people and women too to step up and be an advocate. This information needs to be out there. I mean, wish there were more people like you know that were meant to us like that. You know. It's well, that's why I'm great. hanging out with you, Phil. You're really great. We're gonna get you to come on board too. You know, I started New York Rocks because after 9/11, I named the New York Rocks because after the whole country was down and out, and we got kind of like uh, sucker punched, you know. Right? And uh, the whole thing about New York Rocks is you either stay down or you get up. You brush yourself off the ground. You gotta get off the ground. You can't stay down, no, right? No, not at all. So that's what I did. I came up with the name New York Rocks because after 9 right. 11, we picked ourselves up and we rebuilt. Oh, yeah. We're proud. Definitely of hard times. Yeah. Um, a part of my campaign um, over right. a year ago, a year and a half ago, right. I started writing books. Mm -hmm. So the first book I wrote is called The Ant and the Slippery Slope. It's a self-help book for children. Okay. But it's about animals, All right. right? Animals okay. helping each other in a situation. And that's another thing that's going on today, this animal abuse. And I'm seeing a lot of it. It's very disturbing. I don't like that. You know? Yeah, it's sad. It's, it's really that people shouldn't abuse animals, yes. especially I'm um, a big dog and pet lover yeah. and uh, I don't like that either you it's know sad. it's really and sad we need advocates for that too yeah, yeah. we have some you know I, I recently was speaking with Maria Melito okay. from Q104 and you know she's a big dog lover and I'm a big uh, dog lover too actually my dog I just had to put it down oh, after 11 sorry, years sorry. and it was very tough because yeah. they come so close to sure, your sure. animal and Part of so family. much love you know they give dogs they're like you know just like the purest love she has a book on um on dogs, you know, having grieving after you uh, 
you know, you greet sure. the dog and you could read the stories about other people's process. And she sent me the book. Wow. So actually, I'm going to have her come down onto the show and talk about the book. But, uh, you know, I just love people that, yeah. you know, that stand for something, you know, in life. And you stand for that, you know, you're, you're a very good man. You know, speaking about animals, you know, right. I was speaking at uh, a Catholic school last right. year in May, St. Mm -hmm. Margaret's, great right. school, you know, great, great people, great principal. And Where's a little that? boy got in the middle village. Okay. And a little boy said to right. me, is a form of bullying when you kick or hit an animal. And I was like, the first kid ever said that to me. And sure. I, I had to think for a second. I said, yeah. absolutely, you yeah. can't bully animals either. I mean, right, you know, right. they're, they're, they're little people too, I look yeah. at that, you know. Yeah, well, animals says, cry, they're you know, they they're cry, they feel, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I wrote the second book uh, called Stop Bullying Today. Right. Um, and just to... This is it right here. Yeah, that's right? the book. Here just so people right can understand, there is a story behind the book. Mm -hmm. And it's it's an anti-bullying book. It's my story, mm -hmm. though. Being right. bullied in elementary, junior high school. I just started uh, Stop Bullying today too right. right the the later years we'll call mm -hmm. it or the silent threat I haven't given a name Where yet, can they pick this up uh, so uh, the book is available at amazon.com mm -hmm. uh, barnesandnoble.com tower bookstores uh, believe it or not yeah. my books are at eBay right. if you want to bid on it <laughs> uh, I'd rather you go to Barnes and Noble uh -huh. and uh, I'm doing some book signings now right. so I'm now what's in the book talk about like oh, you had talk about this part of your life and everything but there's there like information on here like how you could Yes, and actually in the back, but uh, okay. in the book, it has a lot of my friends in it that right. I was brought up. So right. they love it because they get into startup. But you know what? There's a really good part of the book. Hopefully Phil. in a good way. Yeah, Phil, there's a really good part of the book because you took my photo, oh, yeah. and, and yeah. There's, there's my photo that you took. So you take credit for that, too, you know? I didn't bully you for no, taking the photo, right? right? No, that was great. I said, yeah, I'll take the photo. That's I great. didn't say, hey, you got to give me uh, no, this, you got to do this for me, and that for me, right? And also, it's given from the heart sometimes, yes. right? Yes, yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> also, my wife and I are executive right. producers right. on a documentary movie oh, really? called Stop okay. Bullying Today. All right. And the other executive producer and directors and staff sure. are from Quest uh, Entertainment Inc. Right. So Mickey, Mickey, Mickey and Gary. Yeah, Mickey and Gary. Guys. Great, yeah. great staff. Mickey's yeah. a great guy. Been on the show. Did some camera work yeah, with yeah. them. Yeah, you did some okay. camera work. And how I started the documentary was right. after Mickey and I did my profiles piece, I was interviewed mm -hmm. by him. Yeah. He said to me, What do you, what are your aspirations? What do you want to do? I said, you know, I always want to produce an anti-bullying documentary. Sure. Yeah. You know, and I always say to the public, this is something that people need to know. So we went That's into right. it. I think we filmed right. 15 to 20 hours of film. Wow. We got to condense it into an hour. Yeah. And uh, and you'll definitely be there. It's a big process, right? Oh, yeah. Now you know, you know right? Sit behind the camera, be behind and the camera. And it is easy. In front of the camera. But they know. say anything good in life doesn't come easy. Yes. It comes the hard way. You gotta work hard at yes. it, right? And they told me I'm too right. serious. I have to smile it on camera. <laughs> but you're gonna be there at right. the film screening because okay. we actually we're gonna have it at the Tribeca Theater. Wow. So it's gonna be really good. Mm -hmm. uh, a couple of the cast members actually behind the cameras here today, uh, mm -hmm. and hopefully soon you'll talk to my boys. But that yeah, cast yeah. member is in my documentary, and it was very exciting for my mm -hmm. wife and I. Mm -hmm. We can't wait to see the finished product, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll see where it goes. We really want to get it out to the school system. Wow. Um, I had more visions. I wanted it on definitely TV, you know, and that's Same. my vision. And hopefully yeah. we'll get get it there with the right people, you know. Yeah. Well, even get the information, get it out onto the internet so we can share it. Definitely. Because, you know, people need to see that more and more. And once once it gets produced and goes and airs on what's right. TV, to get it out to the internet so we can share it with, you know, within the publisher sure. out there. Because the public need to know this is like public information. Definitely. You know? But so you know what, really Phil, I have to throw, so, I have to throw a name out there. Yeah. Caitlin Tepper is my social media right. girl. She works with Mickey and Gary, mm -hmm. and sure. she's the best. She knows yeah. how to get my information out there. All right. I mean, the videos and all, and your videos will right. probably be out there with her. And she's just Thank really you. good. She's really good at what she does. Cool. And we're getting so much press and so much attention with it. Wow. So, you know, I'm overwhelmed with it. And I, can, I, I consider myself a very, very humble guy, you know. Um, you know, being a martial artist, you have to learn how to be humble. You have to learn how to respect others. And uh, you know, coming here is—it's right. it's, it's a blessing being here because I really want people to understand what's going on out there. You know. Okay. I want to ask you about the school. Sure. Um, the school that you're involved with. You, are, do you own the school? Or you run the school? Or you're an instructor? Go ahead. So I've been a martial artist since I'm nine years old. Right. Um, I had two other studios, right. and uh, my wife and I moved a few times to Fresh Meadows, sure. and around 2008, I closed one of my other studios down, mm -hmm. 
And I said to my wife, you know, I want to give back to communities. So okay. I'm going to I'm going to do a free karate program mm -hmm. in my neighborhood at Fresh right. Meadows. And anybody who wants to join, we're mm -hmm. going to have them come. I think the first night we had about 100 people that were spectators watching when we right. were doing the orientation. I think we had 50 people that joined just like that. Right. The original students were my two boys and three other children. Okay. And it went from... Now what your boys' names are. Yeah, sure. Tell well, my, uh, the names. So my older boy's name is Dean. Okay. Dean Junior. Dean. Okay. And then my other son's name is Anthony. Okay. Yeah. Great. And what's the ages? Dean's gonna be thirteen in January, wow. and Anthony's gonna be eleven. Okay. Dean trained with me for many years, and Anthony trained with me too. Okay. Uh, Dean obtained his junior black belt. Wow. And he's took he's taking I call it a little sabbatical now, but it's okay. He can take some time That's off. That's pretty good. Yeah. How long has he uh, been? Since uh, he's five years old. Wow. Yeah. And Anthony holds. You teach them you know, early. It's yeah. good to do that when you're early <laughs> in life and. You know? And I want them to More understand both of them. Anthony right. holds a green belt, but I want them wow. to understand that yeah. green belt, black belt, doesn't matter. You're wow. just learning the martial art. Mm -hmm. And you have to respect what you're learning. Cool. Like all my other students. Right now we have an enrollment of 150 students. Right. At the high side we had over 250. Wow. I do it totally pro bono free. Mm -hmm. I invite people from other boroughs to come if they want to train. No, I have the adults, great part kids. about it is it ain't about hurting people. It's about defending yourself. Right, right. Yeah, actually, right? Yep, yep. There's, there's different kinds of uh, defense, right? Oh, yeah. So right. that's a passion to me, right. teaching the martial arts. Sure. Um, something's been happening really good now outside the book, doing interviews. Um, I just got a part in a miniseries. Oh. And um, hopefully it's going to go really well. Now, what's the miniseries it's, about? Go ahead. It's, so the miniseries is called Show Me a Hero. Okay. Okay. I don't know if I have a long speaking part or an extra part, but I cast it. So they took me. For whatever reason, I had to fit. They asked, it's funny, because they wanted an Italian-American right. under six feet with gray hair. I fit the, fit the bill, so I got the part. So we start filming right. in November. Now, this is an ongoing series. Right. And I actually, it's, it's about a, a low-income housing right. being built in Yonkers, um, and it became into a uh, middle-class area. Mm. It became a big racial war, right. which that's something we have to stop, too. And right, I don't right. consider that bullying, but there's racism mm -hmm. and all. We, we all have to get together, and, right. and we have to get together for a good purpose. Right. Because there's too much, hate. in the United States, the there's hate. too much hate, there is war. Hate. I mean, we're under attack right. as it is. We really need to come together. Come together you know? yeah. Our government it's, needs it's to come together with each other. We only really, you know, as a country, we come together in the wartime, you know, we unite together. Right. You know, I agree. Different. I make my uh, students all the time, my karate right. students, do the Pledge of Allegiance before we do a class. Mm -hmm. And you know what else I do? Before we right. do a performance or go to a tournament, I always sit down with them and I pray with them. Right. Because I believe bringing spirituality into what they do too. Right. Because it's good for them. To but know there's they a have whole thing to. going on now with religion and uh, prayer in school and, and uh, saying the Pledge of Allegiance and you know, there's so many different nationalities now in the United States. How could we do that in a way that's not insensitive to other people's religions? Because so many different religions out there, like you said, you know, that's like kind of an issue that's been going on. Now. But you know what, Phil? Yeah. I look at it like this. Right. When I was a child, we all did the Pledge of Allegiance, all different nationalities, right. colors, sizes. Because you live here. And we live You're in the United American. States. My parents, I my feel grandparents, maybe your, you your parents. And we should, are Americans. Right. If you live here, you should pledge allegiance to our flag. Definitely. You know, because we, you are an American. You live in right. here. Yeah. But I think, uh, actually, with prayer, it should be more in spiritual in nature. Sure. Because other people believe in different religions. So you can't knock a person because of their religion. Not at all. Or their color or all. whatever they believe in. Right? And they try to take God right. out of everything. Right. right. We live in a society. This is right. New York. Right. Anything goes. Right. Cities and other boroughs. Of course. It's everywhere. Of course. It's all over the country and it's all over the world now. So it's like a global thing, you yeah. know? So all this so. hatred really has to stop. Yeah. We really should unite. I mean, I really, I really you. believe in it. What's the easiest thing to do in life? Go ahead. The easiest thing? What do you think? That's a question. Shake somebody's you. hand and get along with them. And I'm going to tell you a story. I was going to say, I'm to love somebody. Yeah, that too. But I'm going to tell you a fast right. story. And it right. happened right. about the same time as that altercation on the train right. a couple months before. I was coming off the 7 train. Right. There were two men in suits. Wow. They were arguing, pushing each other. These guys are huge. Mm -hmm. I got in between them. I said, don't we have enough turmoil in the United you States? You are in black. What are no, you? but I said, no, don't we have enough turmoil in the United okay. States? And they looked at me like I was nuts, but right, they started right. laughing. I said, shake hands with each other, get each other's phone number, take each other out to lunch. Right. Because you know what? This has to stop. Uh -huh. Because if you um, bump somebody, they want to fight you. Right. I mean, sure. it's, a, it's a shame. L little boys. And what did they do? 
And they, they laughed and they actually shook hands. It's, if you bump somebody, you, you don't know if you're going to get shot. Sure. It's like, you know, no. it's, it's crazy yeah. out there. You're yourself into it's a shame. So that's watch. why I started this yeah. whole anti bullying campaign. You, you see, the thing is with you, you know the right thing to say. You can't approach and put yourself in a situation right. and you could say the wrong thing right. and you could, you know, it could get worse. It could, yeah. you know, it could ignite something. So, you know, you got to be careful doing that. Of course. You know the right words. Right. You have to say it the right way. And and not go in as a threat. Because as soon as you, you know, they feel that you're a threat, they might attack you. I, I know how to walk away. Right. right. But there's one thing that I always take very right. serious. If you push my family, mm -hmm. then I have to defend my family. Right. Sure. And everybody should take a notice on that. But, again, you need to walk away from things mm -hmm. sometimes, too. You know, Phil, so you have to know when to walk away, when to do it, when not to do it. With my campaign, mm -hmm. which we're really helping in schools, you know how we had the PTA groups? Yeah. Well, now mm -hmm. we have anti-bullying groups in schools, uh -huh. something I developed, and it works. Mm -hmm. So now the parents don't pinpoint each other. Your kids are bullying your kids. Now they work together. There should be, like, a counselor, I right. feel. Maybe in every school should have an anti-bullying counselor and then when there's a problem you go to you know you go yes. to that counselor and you can diffuse that situation you know there was a child in a um, high school he committed suicide outside wow. school but he was a student of the school and they have these uh, requirements all the teachers have to take a course on right. anti-bullying the slur words and all and to see students that look depressed that they right. are you have to help them right away right. Uh, like we said earlier in the, in the interview you know right. you have to go to your parents or teachers even adults have to talk to each other mm -hmm. you know you know so you have to talk to each other you have to tell people. how about adults because uh, I want to get into adults too sure. because not just children get uh, bullied today now adults get bullied and believe it or not I mean, it's hard for me to talk about, but I do get bullied by other adults, and they, and it's just about, let's say, jealousy, because they feel that you're a threat to them. Mm -hmm. I mean, that happens to me. Okay. And, uh, you know, I live, I live in Staten Island, but I produce out here in Manhattan, and I was bullied in Staten Island. That's why I sort of came out to Manhattan to get away from the bullying, you know? And, uh, you know, it's, it's very hard for me to talk about, because it's like a little bit embarrassing that people would do that, grown adults, but they do, they do do that. And it's, it's horrible that I have to kind of put through that. I've, I've been to the police actually a couple times because it got criminal a couple times. And you know, I felt like, well, well, what should I do? Should I attack back? Should I, you know, I, you know I, can, I can go physical and I can go at this person and you know, hurt them. And I said, you know what, that ain't the answer, you know? Especially when it becomes a criminal thing, I right. had to go to the police. Of course. So you know, I mean, my my items were stolen, my personal items. I, I wanted them back. Right. I mean, I didn't even get them back. I got some of them back. Right. And it's horrible that you know that people do that, and it's been going on. It's been going on for like ten years wow. Wow. with this person, and it just doesn't stop. It doesn't stop. And uh, I wish it wouldn't. You know, wouldn't it wouldn't do that no more. Right. 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 And just like end it. And you know. Go about your business. You do have like, to go to the authorities right. and deal with it through the authorities. Right. You know, at times we're giving them a good scoff, but yeah, that's yeah. not the answer. Right. You know, but you mm -hmm. have to defend yourself at any mm -hmm. length. Uh, right. But if you could talk to the person, mm -hmm. if they're an adult, and do it on a mature level, I think maybe it could stop. It mm -hmm. depends on the level of it. You I'm know, trying I'm, to be a good person, which I am, right. and I want to be a good role model. And I'm in the media, so I, I have a reputation. So sure. you know, yeah, my so yeah, yeah. I'm a Let's say if I was a police officer also, right. I don't want to go around beating people up, hurting people. Right. We're supposed to help people. That's right. But you used a good word before, jealousy. Right. You know, you're a talk show host, you have your own show. Yeah. People are definitely jealous of people. Right. You know, somebody said to me, and I'll keep his name nameless, but I said right. to him, you know, I write books. Oh, you can't write books. Right. I want to do a documentary. You can't do that. Yeah. I want to get in a movie. You can't do that. Sure. Well, guess what? I wrote a book, right. I produced a documentary, and I'm going to a movie right it's now. It's funny you said that, because my bully tried to do the same, same. thing to me. He Maybe said, no, same bully. You, you can't do that. <laughs> same type. Right. You can't do that. Uh, this is my turf. This is my thing. I'm, I'm the guy. What are you trying to do? Right, right, right. What am I trying to do? I mean, you know, if somebody opens a store, and somebody opens a bagel store, and somebody else opens a bagel store, what are you going to do? Right. You got to work together. That's it. You gotta, you gotta make your bagels That's and right. sell your bagels, and the other guy's gotta sell his bagels. That's right. Right? I bet you're bullies from Staten Island, huh? Yeah. Mine is too. Staten Island. <laughs>
Is that wild? A little stat now. I bet bullies. you they know each other. Because they're bullies. Probably bullies. Because they're bullies. Bullies, they kind of bully. They, yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah, they get yeah. tips from one yeah, another, yeah. right? So I, I got my guys here today. You want to meet my boys? Yeah, yeah absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. man. I'm yeah, definitely yeah. going to bring them up. Yeah. Right after the interview, we're going to bring them up. We're going to do a segment with the boys. Cool. I want to thank you very much oh, for coming so on. You rock, brother, man. You, too, you are a great guy. You know? I, we didn't even talk about you. we didn't talk about rock and yeah. roll at all. Yeah. You know? uh, well, What's your favorite group? Kiss. Kiss. I'm Come a kiss. on. I'm a Kiss fan. Right, yeah. I grew up with them with yeah, the makeup yeah. and everything. Yeah, but yeah. you know, I have many, many favorite groups. You know, I was also brought up on the Rolling Stones, the Who, uh, Led Zeppelin, uh, Pink Floyd. Oh man. I like Foreigner. Farina, yeah, yeah. Farina. I like one song from Queen. Queen, oh. And I have to say it for my wife. You know, this I like so the Beatles. Many. I like the Beatles. Beatles. Oh. So how many of you listen to the Beatles? Beatles? Come on, the Beatles are the best. Yes. The best of the best. But, you know, it, we are from a little, I was from a little era after the Beatles. So I was born in uh, 63. So we're I like to say uh, we're saying uh, our age. But, hey, I still look good. And so do you, right? <laughs> so, uh, you know, well, we were in this late 70s. You know, we listen to that type of music. So we got into that type of music that was coming out then, too. Even ACDC. Right. You know, and now they're so big today. Like, you know, it, when they first came out, they weren't that popular. But now all those bands from the Middle Ages, like Rush and ACDC and Van Halen and Kiss, all of a sudden they're huge. Yeah, now, yeah. right? But so, you know what? You, yeah. Recently I saw on your show, you yeah. had one of my favorite sure. and only yeah. favorite rap group run DMC, Darren yeah. McDaniels. Darren McDaniels. He's pretty cool. I met him. He's yeah. a good guy. He's yeah. really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't have my ideas today. And he today, does a lot yeah. of good work, good yeah. things. Yes, you he know, does. He's a different person yeah. than when he was, yeah. when he was growing up. And also, uh, we had Meredith O'Connor. She wow, has wow. an anti-bullying. Yes, she had yes. her on my TV show. Yes. And then you met her. Yes, right? and actually, cool. we have we uh, asked her uh, her manager if yeah. we get some segments of her anti-bullying documentary. She's great, she great did voice. a little mini one. Great so voice. we put her in there. So hopefully, we can help too. her with her stardom too. But it's, it's been such a pleasure, cool. man. Tell everybody though how they can find out more about sure. you and get in touch with you because you got so many things going yeah. on. I have a couple of websites. Sure. Uh, main website is deandobbinsny.com. Mm -hmm. You can find everything out about my life in there. Wow. Um, I'm also on Facebook, cool. Dean Dobbins NY uh, at Facebook.com. Mm -hmm. Also, stop bullying today. Wow. Uh, NY.com. Mm -hmm. And my little boy has a motto, and mm -hmm. he always says this. And I'll end with this. Which one? Little Anthony. He goes, <laughs> stop bullying today. Uh, thank you very thank much, you, and I'm going to bring the kids up right now. Sure. So you're watching New York Rocks. Who rocks better than us? You do, Phil. Nobody. Nobody <laughs> rocks like us. We rock the best. Peace out, everybody.